Their new UI is really weird. It's just weird. It's like they've changed everything and I can't figure it out. But hopefully there is somebody there watching. If anybody would like to comment, that would really help out because I'd like to see any comments that help. Oh, there we go. Bobby Broadway. Thank you very much for commenting. How's the audio? How's the video? And which cabinet should we do first? This one will be a simple fix. That is going to be a real nutcase. So this has been having a few issues. It, um, oh, by the way, I lost my microphone, so I was going to have a microphone on me, but whatever, fuck it. This one, I think it has some bad connections. So we might just want to open that up and clean it out. But there's like four different boards, and they all have these connectors, and they really need to be cleaned out, so... Because sometimes this cabinet, it'll just mess up and it'll just like go really weird, but it's not doing it now, so I think maybe we don't not focus on this one too much. And perhaps we can actually focus on the one that has a lot of issues, the Missile Command cabinet. Oh my god, there's a lot of comments. I'm just saying that. I'm going to have to put it on my phone because I, uh, I can't keep going over to the thing just to read comments. don't have oh they don't have comments on the live whatever anyway um so this one we have fucking phones mobile apps are fucking garbage they don't even have comments um so this one let me just go plug it in and we can see what is going on with that switch anywhere. It's been plated over, so I guess it's only on. Odd. Whatever.
All right. Okay, so that has some issues. But the caps have gone out of it. I'm going to a uh, different mode. So as you can see, it's just blue, which is not the greatest. Move my computer over right there. So that I think um, has some there's some potentiometers here. Okay, so that's... Mm -hmm. Alright, so self-test procedure make sure this even focusing. Self-test pr procedure. We need to get to that point first. Seems like it's not even really working yet. Option switch settings. You know, I'm trying to take that off. Yeah, I just, I don't feel comfortable having that down there because it always gets crunched up. And, uh, darn webcam. It always gets crunched up and you can see it's getting crunched up whenever the, the, the door closes. You know, I do have the manual downloaded for this on my phone, so that helps. off that. Now as you can see that audio amplifier has been removed. The one thing to try is just to remove these. Oh, yikes. Holy shit. Not a crud in there. I would say that might actually be like an electrical arc, almost. Let's see. It's different now. It definitely changed. Now the lines are split down the middle. Perhaps those need to be cleaned. And I think I have. Well, I brought bags and bags of stuff. An electronics cleaner. Let's be back up here. this I'll read comments.
Single Cell asks, have ever seen the Max Headroom TV interruption? Yes, I have. Um, Bobby Broadway says, badass arcade cabs are in, in the new house. Yeah, I really, I'm, I'm hoping to get all of the arcade cameras over here. Oh, Steve's up, so that's good. If there's any basic questions that people have, uh, Steve64464 can answer a lot of those. Because um, we're currently done with the roof, thankfully. Okay. So, I'm going to plug it just for safety. Now, I'm going to be honest. I've never actually used this electronic cleaner before. Okay, so... You know what this is? This is degraded foam. Comes apart into dust in my fingers. And that's falling down into here. That's what it is. But that definitely is some form of corrosion on that last pin. Which um, appears to be a ground of some sort. I believe this is power, contro uh, controller, and audio, and then this one is video, but I could be wrong. Let's just see if that does anything. You know, sometimes opening the circuit and putting it back in just will actually help. Something happened. Hmm. There was a click of some sort. You know, maybe it was that hour meter ticking over. Hmm. Okay. So, where do you guys think I should start first? I'll let you guys pick. I'm going to see if I can get YouTube on my phone because it's just stupid that I can't read comments on my phone. Well, it's going to take forever to download. Okay, so I guess I will try this real quick. 
but I think there will be some more issues up there. I think maybe we should start with the power supply. Make sure the power supply is out, putting the right voltage. Actually, you know what? I'll do that right now. I'll move that. And so across there are all the voltages, and these are plugs. Now these plugs, oh, there's more pops there, okay. These are what you use to, um, let, me, let me cut those. It's annoying to have those on there. These plugs are what you put in to adjust the input voltage. Like for instance, this would be 240 volts or whatever, and that's 120 volts, I believe. If anybody can find information on the output of this power supply, that would be good. gloves on. The viewer sent me some gloves and uh, I figure if I'm going to be running that CRT while it's on, I might as well put them on. First row. across there and ground. Mm, that'd be DC. So ground. Wish I ever measured against, you know, like unless that is ground. Could be ground. I don't think this thing actually has a ground pin though, so power comes in. It does have a ground pin, okay. Off that. So that's 5.6 volts AC, 18 volts AC, 18 volts, 11 volts, 10.3 uh, volts, that's 11 volts. It might have gone off a bit, but. Mm, That 18 volts does seem a bit high, but that might just, that might be okay. And then... Fucking hate this shit. Finally, finally, I have comments on my phone. That's a good point. I probably should check those fuses. Steve, I, I already checked the um, I already checked the manual. It didn't say anything about voltages. It's just, it's just a dumb manual, like oh, try plugging it in and, and or not, or just send it back to the factory kind of thing. Um, well, we don't have a beat, but well, I guess we'd have a voltage difference if we did. Nothing. Nothing. 
0.1 volt AC, 0.06 volts AC. I think there'd be more voltage difference than 0.1 of a volt. That could just be down to voltage drop across that. And then I'm not seeing any capacitors that are bulging. I'm turn it off. Well, uh, cleaning the fuses probably won't really do much because I'm actually measuring the fuse holder, and so there's like it's already getting, it's connecting to the holder well enough. If anybody could dig up another service manual, that'd be good. But I imagine this is probably a very standardized circuit. Oh, and um, here, let's give you guys some food for research. That's the board we're dealing with. Oh, 1979, look at that. That's neat. So, Missile Command AO35467 Atari, copyright 1979. Do you guys um, check that to see if there's anything like, because we could actually see if it takes 18 volts or so, and then, this is September, oh, come on, 29th, 1980. All these dip switches are down. We have, um, you know what, I should probably, Remove some of these and put those back in there. Actually, all these chips I should probably remove and put them back in there. Oh, uh, Todd Burst. I've had this arcade machine since about 2013 or so. Hey, 6502B. That must be the processor. These capacitors are probably fine. Where's the There we go. So you know what? I'm going to uh, uh, still coins left in the game. Let's check. No, no coins. Uh, quick question. So, would just spraying this on there work to help clean the connections? Like inside the connectors? Or would I have to use an abrasive of, of some sort? Like, would just going in like that work? I guess I'm going to wipe that off. Don't smell it, so. Well, not too much is coming off, so that's good. So this connection might actually be okay. Boy, it is powered down, don't worry. I have the um the switch open. doing that right, let me know. Wow, 10 bucks, holy shit. T. Komoski, you're a familiar name. 
You know what? Um, let's try that. Just see what happens. I might ruin my phone. I don't want to get that fried. <laughs> Yeah, same issues. I'm going to uh, proceed with removing all these chips. Say I've missed some comments. Oh, I've checked that on the internet. That's interesting. Never um... I do have a uh, chip puller someplace, but not here. Mm. And these are pretty dusty, but it shouldn't be too bad for low voltage. This is a 8002D C012294-03. Make sure all those pins are straight. You know, speaking of straight pins, just notice that. Let's turn things out. That looks fine. It's actually quite clean. But that has, um, oh, there we go. That wire was holding it up. There's a lot of tension on that. So now this can, it's in there. That's held on there straight now. That's better. Um. 
Uh, back of the board looks perfectly fine, no corrosion. So that's good. Stuck on there good. Oh my god. Well, that's not good. Stuck on there so far that it ripped apart the, the socket. I don't recall which way that went. Gold pins. That's going to be a pain in the butt to get back in there. Or not. Okay. I need you guys to remember, did this go facing uh, up that way or up that way? I think, um, I guess pin one, that goes to ground, that makes sense. I hate to put that in backwards. Mm -hmm. Electro nut, why would you not use an IC polar? I don't know, maybe because I don't fucking have one on hand, okay? So fuck off. Well, pin one is here. Would, is pin one normally ground? Dot on what pin? <laughs> well, there. Okay, there is a, there is a yellow. Okay, so there is a yellow screen printing on here, and oh, it does align with the other ones. Let's see. Okay, so I, I was gonna put it in wrong right there. So I guess pin one is not brown. That's weird. Thank you very much for pointing that out. These are quite stiff.
T. Kamoski, why are you not on Twitter? Um, I am? I don't know. All right, so I replaced three chips. Let's see if that works. I haven't done anything. Those might not really do much then. But I guess I can move them anyway. Yeah, Twitter is pure fucking cancer. And it's full of like crazy communists. Anybody could look up what this chip is. That'd be helpful. I imagine it might be RAM. But, um, yeah. Ron Zavora asked, Hey Renaud, do you ever want to collab with DOS Dude one I don't know who that is, but sure. Uh, CR solar, solar assist, uh, solar ice. It does not display really anything, so it's kind of not much of a game at this point. Hey, there we go. These ones are popping pretty loud. Oh, I have a chip pull up right in the bag right over there, but I just don't feel like looking for it because it's just so easy to pull with a screwdriver. My preferred means of communication, well, with, um, with viewers, it's comments because I can ignore them. Captain Moore, I don't mind, like, the fact that you have the boards is pretty cool. I'm just messing around after all. Oh, one pin's off. Okay, yeah, that makes sense it'll be wrong. Thanks, Steve. T. Kamaski, you can comment, but we need, well, we need more input, I.O. Uh, no. I don't want to have a Discord or something, because a lot of my viewers are just annoying. This is fine the way it is. And I definitely don't need Twitter.
B dog uh, dog gamer ninety five cozy asks why so mad. I'm not mad. I just after ten years of doing YouTube, I know to ignore a lot of YouTube comments. I wouldn't want to have them constantly talking to me. That would get old. That would get old. That one was tough. But there's no corrosion, so that's good. Those with confidence. No, the length of a piece of string is 41 apples. Okay, let's see. Now, I don't think that would do anything, but, you know, I wanted to do it just a piece of mine, so I know it won't be that later on. Screen's changing a little bit now. So something did, different did happen. Um, let's change to let's change to self test mode and try that. Weird. It's not what I should be doing, I don't think. Okay. What's well, different? Okay, so now we have the question of the, well, the tube, the, the, the TV itself. I'm not sure where to get the, the video signal out of this, but you know what? I just realized something. Look at that. The, um, the audio uh, amplifier chip has a piece of metal laying across the back of it. How stupid is that? Oh, never mind. It's plastic. And that makes me feel better. I guess that would have gone there. And that would have held the audio chip up, the audio stuff. What's going on there? There we go. Okay. So that goes on there. Hmm. I'm just going to put that across there so it holds it up for now. Just wedging a piece of plastic on there. Oh, and I guess I can go ahead and replace this. Uh, Common Electronics asks if I have a Logic Pro. I do have a Logic Analyzer, and I, but I didn't bring it. I did bring an oscilloscope. Yeah, 
that is the audio regulation board. Well, I guess I should get the. I'm going to do something to plug it into. Okay. There's a distinct lack of power plugs in this house. I think it's annoying. I don't know how to turn this darn thing on. There we go. Haven't used it in a while, so. So I guess if I were to connect on to ground, you know I'm just going to seal the ground from here, would I be able to detect the um, like 5 volts across here? Oh yeah, I can. That's five volts and that's Okay, so that is always producing power, which is interesting to keep in mind. Now, I just need to figure out what pens from the video chip. 
Ano kang desire? There's a little light bulb thing here. Looks like it's for, um, actually there might be a fuse holder. Oh, you know what? That probably goes, um, I don't know. There is an audio thing here, so... That's different. Let's see if that's any difference on the top. guys what does the attract mode sound like is the is the game actually running fine it's just the monitors are displaying it because if that is what the attract mode sounds like with audio then I wouldn't think it would have audio on it but you know we're not looking. yeah it might be a well I can't find anything about the I can't find anything about Erico's there's not much documentation. But if this is the same board as... If this is the same board as the 1979, then... So that'd be... Missile Command... Um, uh, troubleshoot Manual? I kind of just find the same live stream because I'm troubleshooting it all like Because um, if this game is wrecked, what I might do is I'll sell this board to someone who really likes Missile Command and then I might put something else in this cabinet because, you know, I don't, I'm not necessarily into Missile Command and all of the uh, artwork's been ripped off of this thing already, so... All right, so we have the um, Operation Maintenance and Service Manual. You know what, I wonder if... Um Obviously, would be um, wait, is it self test down or self test up? This might be in the self test mode. Ah, we have self test on, so turn self test off. Mm -hmm. Not sure if this is that a didn't see what that button is, but I imagine it would be a... Uh... Unless, um... Oh! The, the buttons are on the back. So... So that's the self-test mode. I can... Actually, you know what? Um, 
So this is on the actual gameplay mode. Okay, so that's not doing anything. There are two buttons over here that are for single player and two player. It didn't do anything. Okay, so then we can go to self test mode, I guess. Well, let's see. What do you guys think? Um, I guess it'd be easier to do it on here. So, it's a shame this is all eaten up, like by bugs or whatever. You would think that if, if the game was working, and the coins were working. You know, maybe it's just the coin mechanism is bad. Because there could be multiple things bad with this. I'll turn it back on. It is in it is in game mode. I'll get a few coins. And then I'll go over and press the single player button. You know, I guess we're really responding too much, but the game test mode. Anybody can look up what that the test mode is. That'd be great. I'll look it up myself. Oh, you can't read codes? Um, I'm going to go to YouTube and see if I can find a video of the, the test, the self-test. It does sound different, okay. So that so the self-test that I saw, it is different.
Okay, so self-test. There is no D6 on here. I think that has a different board. Mm. Maybe it is. Hey, two bucks. Thank you very much. Okay, so, so high tone indicates failed DRAM. Well, that's interesting. So then that would be... Um... So five failed chips, I guess. And then two good ones, and there's only, um, well, four, six. these chips are the DRAM? Would it be the C uh, the ones that were like seated or they would be one of, the, one of the ones that were actually one of the other ones that are actually on the board? Interesting. Um, I don't know if there's any change, but I haven't tried to play her yet. I'm going to hold it down to turn on see if that helps. effect by holding the button down. Well, I don't have a manual on me. Um, however, that, that one might show it. It's not super helpful. But... You just have them down as integrated circuit.
Now, if I have to do much more work, then probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just make this a not a live stream, you know, because it's kind of boring to have a. It's it kind of boring to have it. Well, also it's just it's not that fun to do it live too much, but. Because what I might do is I might just go through and get all of the capacitors and just replace all of them. Like some of these ones might be failed here. I don't know. You know, I guess we could probably remove the, the CRT. Take a look at that. What do you guys vote to do next? Uh, CR Solaris, how can I send manuals? You can just, well, uh, you can link them in, in a YouTube comment once the video is done. Try adjusting some of these pots down here real quick. paper. And Warning, hazardous voltages exist under this cover. I just want to see what we're even dealing with with this CRT module because I can't get a good look at the, the capacitors.
was hoping those cables would be longer, but I guess not. It's kind of crunchy, but not too bad. I'll probably replace a few of those. While well, I have this out, I'll give that a good wash. Hey, information. Uh, G bias, gun bias, I guess that'll be. It's difficult to see all that. But there's markings underneath there. Drive and such things like that. Those are actually to do with the CRT itself. Yeah. I'll give that a good wash because um, now that it's out. You guys back to the tripod. All right. I'm gonna sit down again. And I'll finally open, look at your comments, okay? Remember to discharge the high voltage. Well, uh, hey, 10 bucks. Well, um, electro nut. Um, you really don't have to discharge it whenever you're working with it like this. So I just want to take a look at it. So it's fine. Uh, Pig Tooth asked if that's Bill Hammer in the background. 
Yeah, he's up on the roof cleaning stuff up. He said he wanted to get a few more things done. We, we got the roof done. We just, well, we got the structure repaired and all the shingles taken off, but now it's just some cleaning up to do, so we wanted to do that. John Doe hopes it smells like old nicotine smoke from the 80s. Well, it does have a bit of that smell to it. Jonathan Rolden, chip ram bad, M4, L4, F4. And you know what? There might be a bit of corrosion on those. But it's hard to tell. M4, L4. So that would be a TMS4116 20NL. Lower line is P8027. I'll show you guys. Oh. Which one was it? M4 and L4 right there. Hope that's enough for you guys to get a, a good look at. You know, I might actually have those pieces. I have a, a whole box full of random Texas instrument strips from the 80s. How many of those are there? And there are eight. Look at that. So, you know what? I'm just going to look up on eBay for those. Hey, they're two bucks a piece. That's not bad. The real question is what caused the bad DRAM? And that could be a bad power supply, I bet. Oh. Eight bucks or ten of them. I might I might do that. I might do that. Yeah, they might not be the right ones, but whatever.
John Doss about the play counter. It has 27,928 hours on it. Or maybe that's plays, coins, I don't know. Hey, don't don't insult my chair. The spring broke. And I know I'm right, I'm really far behind in the comments, but this is really nice. Okay, so that it is actually coins then. Can you guys hear me okay, even though the microphone's over on my laptop? Just question. Um, I, got, I got these from a collector in St. Louis, and he was going to restore them. Hey, that's Schoenhofer. Uh, well, St. Louis, but I'm not sure where they are actually found. They could have been at a bar, it could have been whatever. I wonder if I could open up, take out that power supply, and perhaps that power supply would have a part number on it. Because if it, if it has a part number, then we can find out what the voltages are. And one thing that I worry is that power supply fried the RAM, so if I put more RAM in there, it'll fry them yet again. And it goes 10 bucks. He's gotten something. You know what, instead of removing the power supply, I'm just going to stick you guys back there. You can see if there's anything down there. I'm looking for like a label or something. I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. There might be something on the front there. Power supply name or um no. Volta AO three five eight four three point zero one. And that's on this. You know, perhaps that was a place. Looks a bit newer. It's hard to tell. Oh, right, I forgot. My 
dad got me something. And I, I hate that I like it so much. Elon Musk. I, I gotta like it. I gotta like it. And hey, you also got me mint chocolate, so that works. I don't normally celebrate Christmas, but I'll accept gifts if they make sense. Whereas my grandparents, sometimes they'll try to get me gifts, and it's just things that, like, I really, anybody who knew me would, would know not to get that for me, so. So Steve said that he hopes that bill doesn't fall through the ceiling. We repaired that, don't you know? What's a travail? Seriously? Google what a travail is, alright? How's it going? Pretty good. Working on that joint over there. Yeah. Where the angle meets. Oh, you're gonna go on? Mm-hmm. Tightening it all up. Good. Doing like little odds and ends, really. Get back to work. I ain't making too much noise there, right? No, you're fine. Oh, sweet. I hope you, I hope you like mint. I do. Cool. You grab this bit. Oh, cool. I'm probably gonna wrap, wrap up my stream pretty soon. How's your thing going? Um, got bad DRAM, but thanks to the viewers, we got it figured out. Whoops. Oh, sweet. Looks about, might be like 10 or 15 bucks in chips online, so it's not too bad. All right. Well, let's get to it. Okie dokie. I just wrap up the stream in a more social aspect. Hmm. Try disconnecting the the um. The game board. Well, I have to put that back in, so I'll do that later. Tiny Whoop FPV video, and tell me what you think. Are those those are FP, FPV drones? They're cool, but honestly. I have a drone and I just, I don't find it very interesting. I haven't even taken it out of the box. Because there's just been so much stuff about drones and it probably wouldn't be that good. I 
uh, Amit Chodankar uh, recommended to check the volts from the power supply. I did. They're around like 6 volts, 18 volts, and like 12 volts. Necro Kitty, wow, you've grown to subs. I remember you being under 10k. Yeah, I have. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm a bit behind. If I'm not mistaken, um, Steve, the the manual that you found might have been that one I found before already, but I'll keep that in mind. Finally, I'm at the end of the comments. Lillian Cosman, your chair is dangerous. I've had this chair for years, and I've not fallen over once. All right, so it's not dangerous. So, what have you guys been up to? Like, how many views are we up to now? Hey, 162, that's not bad. Oh, so do, do the do the do the DRAMs actually kind of go out on their own? Because um, I remember I had a Commodore 64 that the power supply slowly ramped up and it ruined it. But if that's just something that they just slowly goes out, then maybe I should look into getting new ones. Give us a spoiler about the house, says Michael Simpson. Um, well, we got that side finished. You already saw that. We removed the shingles from the the top above the library. We found some more issues and we fixed those with the structure, so that's all fixed. And then we finished, just yesterday, we finished tearing off the shingles on that side and um, fixed a few more rotten boards. And now the roof is just done. So we can uh, tomorrow we're going to start putting ice and water shield on the very shallow roof of the library and then felt paper on everything else since it's steeper. You know, probably what I'll do for the, the, the chips, excuse me, is I'll probably put like, um, what are they? Uh, 16 pin, I'll put 16 pin, um, chip sockets on there so I can always pop them in and out. Does the house still have the vintage AC? Um, it still has the, the 1970s AC unit. Honestly, like to be honest, with this house, it'll probably just need like one air, uh, window unit during the summer, but it has such a big basement. We might be able to just set it up to where it circulates air from the basement and it keeps the house cool. I don't know. Peppermint bark. I'm a big fan of peppermint. Maybe I should put it back together.
I wonder, do you think, um, so the first part of the, the code for the chip is uh, TMS4116, I believe. Yeah. TMS4116. For the ones on, online, they have 15 NLs, and that's 20 NLs. I wonder if those are interchangeable, or if that's just... Um, Can be ignored. There's 25 NLs. 20 NLs, okay. TMS 4116 20 NL AP 8206. 8207, that's 8026. Then mine, oh, 10 bucks. John Fisher. Thank you very much for 10 bucks. I better get back to the comments. Never seen you with your hair down, okay? Shane Walther. There you go. And maybe we'll put it back together. Can't hurt. All right. One more peppermint thing. You need all those today. Oh, I didn't realize that is a detector for if the they knock the arcade machine. That's funny. Maybe it just stop eating. Wait, 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 wait. Is that upside down? I'm gonna get a Phillips screwdriver.
Let's see if that does anything. Um, test mode is off, going to play mode. Yep, still some issues. Going to test mode. Oh yeah, yeah, you want me to try um, removing these to see what happens. Let's see. It's bringing me all squiggly. Yep. safe to say that I wish I should go and replace those chips. I can see about ordering them or whatever. Hey, and tell you what, I can use the money that you guys gave me to buy them. How about that? Hey, at least this one works. Whee. That seems a bit wobbly and I'm going to see if I can adjust the um, the focus
Uh, maybe not. Oh well, whatever. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get get the up to date on comment comments though. How many coins did I have to insert for that? Um, one. Whoa, 20 bucks. Thank you very much, Wes. Yeah, I think I should probably repair the CRT, but I might better just get the video output. This thing has sound. Surely it has sound. Oh yeah, I forgot about Last Starfighter. Nichibutsu. Uh, maybe I should... control Here, unless that's bad. Mm. I 
unfortunate that the sound isn't uh, quite working. I'll try turning it off and on again. Hard to give up on the comments. Yeah, it's worked before, but oh well. Now I can keep up with, uh, well thank you, Leandro. Now I can keep up with that. Yeah, I think the speakers worked before, but oh well. I don't think this thing's worth 3000 That's a bit much, but um, I'd say a few hundred. I think I paid 80 bucks for it, which isn't too bad. When I bought it, it was back in 20, uh, 2013. So.
He was in Ray Fun. I'm not a huge fan. It's just, the response time, it just sucks on this thing. If you're thinking to go for three thousand dollars, you can sell for three thousand if you like. Or you can buy for three thousand if you like. Uh, this isn't. This, I didn't get. I didn't get missile command working. Ryan Cox asked how the house is coming along. House is coming along really well. Um, uh, Bill has to go back to work in probably about two weeks. And so we're hoping to get it pretty much wrapped up for him. But we want to get the roof done. And then we're going to take a break for all winter. Top class. <laughs> what am I reading? <laughs> you can probably buy that glass for like a hundred bucks, custom made. I don't know. Twenty-five bucks for a circuit board. Eesh. Well, I'm probably not going to go and read all the all the ones way in the past. I think I'm pretty much up to date on comics. So, Steve, what is it that was commented? Um, well, we're, we're planning to mostly clean off the paint and just see what where we are, and we might sand and refinish the wood on the, on the trim of the house, but we're not too interested. How long have I been going on? I haven't even looked at my stats. I've just been... Hey, viewers are going up. 161 views. Average watch time, 5. Playbacks, 2,900. I'm pretty happy with that. My, my channel's been doing really good lately with this house restoration. I've been getting like... Um, well, actually, I can check. Like, uh, let's see. My, my most recent video, I think I got 6,000 views, which a couple months ago would have been unheard of because... My videos were just, they, they just weren't interesting to my viewers. So, um, 
Yeah. The house restoration projects really help. Like the last one's 6,500 views, 410 likes. So that's pretty good. Oh, Steve, yeah, I did see that one. Never mind. Hey, this works. Oh, stupid cables. There we go. You know, I always have, you can see them in the videos, there's just this spot, like right here, because I have a little curl in the, in the hair, and like, it just, the hair just sits weird. Hey, 10 bucks, holy shit. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I normally don't put my hair down for videos because I feel this kind of messy, but if I'm not doing anything, then I don't, then it's fine to have my hair down. I think I'm probably going to put a lot of the money that I get from this channel. Well, aside from getting the arcade working. Where's the... Didn't I have a... a lot of money towards the rocket project because I really want to get that going. So I got some tanks, uh, some aluminum cylinders for the rocket project because the next stage of the rocket project is to just put more fuel and oxygen into the combustion chamber, which means I'll have to have a, a faster procurement method, which means instead of trying to put all the gas through the, the regulator uh, all at once, I'll have, like for auction, it's 2,000 PSI going through the regulator to 100 PSI tank, and then that tank is what will be discharged, because otherwise the regulator just doesn't let enough through for anything but like a torch. And uh, so... Hopefully that'll allow us to have a lot more propellant going into that chamber and see what happens. <laughs> Wes Schoenhofer, but what about safety? You'll put your eye out. You'll put somebody's eye out with that thing. It's a nice one. Well, if, if my rocket projects get any bigger, I will probably have to actually get, like, um, I, I probably will have to actually get um, some bigger area for it. You know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can get Arduino versus Evil to help me machine an injector plate. Once I get, like, the injectors figured out, like, I'm going to figure out what injectors I need for, for oxygen and for the kerosene. And then I can be like, okay, I have these. Now I just need to have something to hook those onto this into the rocket engine. Hello, Amnesiac. I'm glad you came across my broadcast. In NDG Flyer, hey, I have a friend who has one of those moon base cocktails, has been trying to sell for $200, probably worth more just to keep it and enjoy. I agree. It's, I mean, it's fun for a little bit. It would be funner with somebody else. It's kind of dumb just to play it by yourself. Craig AK, AK where is Bill? Bill's up on the roof. He uh he wanted to do a bit more 
uh, structural repair because yesterday we got the, the the roof all repaired and um, there's a few more things it's just like trim and stuff so he's just messing with the trim outside it's a really nice day today Michael Simpson um, you want to gift me something through PayPal um, you, you could I'm pretty sure you can use PayPal through uh, YouTube or Patreon Whatever works, but you don't need to. You don't need to donate. It's fine. Pan Barquette, what is your favorite game except Final Fantasy? Uh, well, um, I could say something like um, The Jersey Devil or A Bug's Life on PlayStation, but I think something more like uh, Ocarina of Time, uh, a Zelda game would be one of my favorites. I'm not a big fan of the multi of the main arcades. They just seem so dumb. Like the reason I have this is to preserve history. I don't want it to have the game. It's just because it's cool and old. If I want to have the game, I'll just play it on a console or something. Uh, Bradwick one, uh, main. It does use original ROMs, but it doesn't implement them in the same way. The uh, visuals can be off, the sound can be off. That's just how emulation is. I forgot about Minecraft. Minecraft is pretty good. Half-Life is pretty good too. I just wish they make Half-Life 3 or whatever. Um, Cause my, my favorite game is Final Fantasy 14, but I guess it's just kind of, it's not really a game at this point for me. It's kind of just my life. Final Fantasy 14, like Eorzea is my life. Beastmaster. Beastmaster 64. There's really no way to be locked out of this house because you can just bust in anywhere you want. Like you, you could poke a hole through the wall, it seems, in some places. Ragtime Freak, any 16 millimeter film experiments in the future? Uh, none, uh, well, none yet. I have been thinking about making a parody of Ghostbusters, but that's something that I don't know. That would be just be fun with digital. Hey, Franz Oshberg, greetings from Switzerland. Schweiz. Greetings from Illinois. Bradwick, one, oldest game you like. Like something I can actually play a lot. Well, <laughs> Knots and Crosses, or did you mean video games? Well, for video games, it'd have to be something from like the 90s. I'm, just, I'm trying to think of what games I actually played. Now, 
one by default would have to be like A Bug's Life from 1998 for the PlayStation. Great game. I love it. But I have a lot of games even back to the 70s. What about sci-fi programs? Um, I really like Planetess. It's an it's an animated manga. The manga is much better. Um, so Star Wars and Star Trek are fine. NGT Flyer. Personally, I have eight, 18 games, six pinballs, and 12 arcade games. All real hardware. That's pretty good. I have I have a box of pinball machine parts. Uh, Bobby Broadway said to make a 16 millimeter music video for uh, my ro uh, for roommate. I don't have a roommate, but um, for Bill, um, I'm not living here, so it's not a roommate. I'm still living in Taylor Springs. I'm just I just have a I just want to put my books over here because I want to have a nice little place for a library, you know. But the problem with 16 millimeters is so damn expensive. Pan Bartek, I really like your channel and the way of content. SDS, thank you very much. Hey, Susan Am Amber Bruce, blah, Susan Amber Bruce, there we go. You've grown a little bit recently. Cindy Tepper, use more product in your hair. I don't really use product in my hair. There's no reason to. It's a waste. Pan Bartek, Spyro. Um, I love Spyro Ripto's Rage, but I, I don't actually own a copy of it. I don't think Crash Bandicoot. It, kind of annoying. Uh, Bradwick One, ever see a Fairchild Channel 13 home game system? Yes, I have. I, I don't own one, but I've I think I've played with one once. Roy Hammer, hello from Norway. Hello. <laughs> Space nineteen ninety nine, I never watched it. I don't watch too much American shows to be honest. Uh, maybe you asked what the stickers on the back of my laptop. Well, this is back when I when I was working at Apple. We um, we had to get a bunch of SSDs and stuff. So I um, that is like an acid thing for like some chemical uh, container, and I cut a circle and wrote my name on it. And then those are SSD stickers that I put around there. Um, Intel Core i7 stickers, and then those are the Apple stickers. I put the leaves up there, so it's like a big, um, a big flower. Like so. Oh, come on, fucking camera. You can see it's quite, it's aged a bit, because it's been through a lot, but it's been like, I don't know, like five years I've had it on there? Four years. Thumps 724 said try Olympus cameras. Um, I think I'm probably going to stick to Canon for now. It seems to work fine. He's out there getting plastic, I guess. Red Dwarf. I've seen a few episodes of Red Dwarf. It, 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 was fine, but um, sitcoms are a bit tiring sometimes. Jake Brown, have you thought about you maybe using this? Uh, 
Jake Brown, have you thought about maybe using the small room in the basement as a photographic dark room? Um, not in this house, but I have thought about doing it at my house. John Doe, NGT Flyer, I'm desperate for money. I have a Pac-Man, how much? It was a full Pac-Man arcade machine. I'll pay a hundred bucks for it. Hey, Nottingham England, nice. Pan Bartek, do you know Maximus Iron Thumper? Great YouTuber, great projects, Maximus Iron Thumper. I might watch his uh, videos, but I will counter that with uh, Michael Cthulhu, I guess that's his name. I've watched a couple of his videos. I like his style, if I remember right. Bobby Broadway, find any new secret areas in the house? We found a wood trim board above a door with a spring hiding tons of old early 1900s coffee jars. That's kind of cool. Uh, not, not too much yet, but we've been working on the roof lately, so haven't done too much. There's a lot of garbage up in the, the attic, though. Oof. John Doe, where is that Pac-Man machine? Because I might be able to come get it. Doctor Who, I like Doctor Who, but I've only seen the first Doctor. I have not seen any of the other Doctors. The first Doctor seems rather pleasant. I like him. Pan Bartek, gotta go. Have a great day, see ya. I'll see you too. Maybe the next live stream. See ya. I'm probably gonna call it quits pretty soon, because... It's uh one twenty and I haven't uh one fifteen and I haven't have any eaten yet. You know, I wonder if I could actually just, um, Cowboy Bebop, I've not seen it. When is the next video about house, house restoration? I have two videos ready to edit and upload, I just haven't done them yet. I wonder. Uh, if I could get fancy with this. Is that working? I don't 
know if that's that's right. This is weird. <laughs> no, I've not tried metal detecting yet. It's not displaying. That's weird. Maybe I'll do game capture. Game capture doesn't work. So can you guys see the cursor, but you can't see me actually doing anything? Can you actually see it rotating, or is it... Because it's not displaying on, on that. Stupid. Fucking useless. That might work. Greetings from Monterey, Mexico. Cool. Um, that might be a bit. Let's see, can I make it bigger? Am I going to break it? Am I going to break it? Hey, look at that. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Is it working now? Because I've messed with it a little bit. Let's see what files they got on here. Imperial Drive. Oh, that's a Star Wars thing from Star Wars uh, Rogue One. That's an idea I had to put a telescope on the top of there. Settle down in the comments, you hear? Hmm, let's see. Hey, my wood whaler mask. 
And that thing fit perfectly. I'm really glad about that. Mint chocolate. If I had a mouse, I would um if I had a mouse with me, I would uh I'd be able to actually do some stuff, but it's hard to do with a trackpad. Oh well. Grindel 1960A. A telescope in that position would suffer from air movement from the heat rising off the roof. I don't care about that, I just care that it looked cool. Hey, my character. That's when I made that for um, for VR chat. Hey, fiber my fiber dad, UK fiber my I've been watching you since early McDonald's days. Thank you very much for the donation. That's my character from Final Fantasy XIV. I exported her and. Later in the game. Termites. You're thinking of termites, John Doe. That's an old one. Let's see if this goes anywhere. This is, uh, I probably made this around like 2009 or so. Just a little, really crappy little game. We got ourselves some uh, System 360 tape drives and <laughs> like just a bunch of random, bunch of random like uh, IBM like 701 or whatever and a, a Cray supercomputer of course. You gotta have one of those with really bad graphics in the middle. Eey. Oh, I didn't, the graphics aren't even rendering on the inside. Oosh. Hey, wait a minute. I might be able to fly in this one. Oh, darn. Grouty's too high. There might be, oh, I might have a PC in here. Nope. That, oh, that was like a physics simulation thing that didn't work. Hey, <laughs> it's the highest resolution thing in the entire game. Took me days to model that IBM PC. Hey, what am I looking at? Okay. Yeah, 
You can tell I put the I put the detail where it mattered in the vintage computers, not in the gameplay. Oh my god, the door works. Look at that. Oh, they work. I actually made something that works. <laughs> Now those are some good graphics right there, yeah. Surely I had a button that makes you go quicker. I don't know why I'm sharing this to you guys. It's just like I haven't played these in years. Oh, by the way, I ripped these textures from, uh, whichever the camera is, from uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, Steve, I'm actually playing this in reverse. Like, it actually goes up several more floors and it's supposed to be like a boss battle at the top of that skyscraper. Like, can we even see the skyscraper? I don't know. But this is like only a quarter way through. No, not shift. If I was smart, I would... Oh, hey, yeah, you can see the outside of the of the building. Oh my god, this is long. This is not very good gameplay. So there should be like a maze over here with like, not just different paths, but like just like an open area with a bunch of bushes. Or not. Hey, yeah. Or not. <laughs> okay. You ever been in Second Life Virtual World? No, I haven't. Oh, we made it back to the start, and that's the start. I'm out of the game. And there we go. Let's see what other stuff we have. Hey. 
my character, with actual um, correct clothing. The, math, the mesh isn't all messed up like on the other one. Michael Simpson, recommend me a film to watch. Jinro the Wolf Brigade. Hi, Anna Fury. I need to play that. What happens if we close out this? Okay. There, man. What else should we do? A VR chat meetup. I need to do VR. I need to get a VR headset in this area right here. Move it or lose it, sister. Fuck you. Excuse me, princess. Okay, let's go outside. See what happens if I go outside and see what Bill's up to. Unplugging the power. Unplugging the webcam. You know what? I'm going to hook it to the back of this. <laughs> now that's getting smart. Oh, no. You guys still alive? Hope you are. So what you doing? Did you see the hole I made? Oh no, what did you do? <laughs> I'm preparing for the jack. Shit. On the ceiling. Oh, you're gonna jack it up finally. Yeah. Okay. But, um, there's good news and bad news. Bad news. Yeah? Of course. The bad news is you can see our sill plate is all rotted away. Yeah, we're going to redo a lot of that. But the good news is it's solid in the corner. Look at these joists. They're rock oh, solid. Good. These are all rock solid. Um, so all, we, obviously the floor will be need, need to be replaced all the way back. Like the first board is good and this over here is all good. It's just right in here. Is that a big beam over there? Um, I get, that's like a two by six. This one here is, yeah. Yeah. But the rest of them, and I think they're hooked to, they're, they're sitting on top of this, and then they're sitting on the cement blocks. As you can see, they've got a bunch of shims in here to get yeah. the right height. Can you guys hear them okay? I want to see. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like it all, all of this, it's all, you know, there's good news and bad news. Yeah. And then this is the board that you can see is rotted away that all these floorboards sit on top of. And that's obviously all gone. Uh, but look at the, can you get a shot of that? Oh, let's see. Look how good all that is. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, I mean, there's going to be some replacing. We'll have to rip this all down. Yeah. But it's not a complete disaster. Um, what's underneath that brick? Is there, like, older brick underneath that? or um, Is that newer? Actually... Or is that original? I don't know if that's stone or cement or what, but there's a mass of something there. So that might be newer. And then towards mm -hmm. the back of the house, that's all real good. There's a ton of beer cans under here. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Cars. More cars. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Yeah. Underneath the porch. Is there a lot of wood underneath here? It's a lot of... A lot of crap. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is back over that way, yeah. And the blocks that are holding these other beams up are all slanted. Those will have to be repositioned. 
But I'm just kind of prepping for an area for the jack so I can put a post up there and see if we can't straighten that out a little bit. Yeah. But I've got all the tidbits on the roof done. So our plan is to get it all like um, jacked up and level. Actually, I guess I can show the, the roof. Yeah, this Oh, hey, what happened to the bottles? I think they're all plastic. No, the the bottles that we had, that we hunted. Oh, there are... Oh, here they, they are. Yeah, right there, and, and then right in here, too. Found a nice bottle down. Got a lot of nice bottles. Well, I'll leave you to it. All right. You, you getting kind of hungry? I know. I wonder if the Mexican Mexican place is open. Ooh, I could go for that. Yeah, I could go for that too. Yeah, I, I hope you guys realize that like he's like the age of my like he's old enough to be like my grand my grand my grandpa. Okay, so it's it's just weird that people like every single person that's ever in my videos, people are always like, "Oh, are you fucking them or whatever." It's like even if it's like my mom or dad, it's like no, no, just like seriously, oh, it's just it's stupid. Regarding the comments, at least. These people are pure cancer in the comments. And this, this is why earlier I said I do not want to have constant communication with my viewers. I like having the communication with the comments so I can ignore you all. Yeah, it's a three hour live stream, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, me and Bill are just friends. But I do plan. I want to I want to make him good friends and I hope that maybe one of these days we we can maybe get him a wife cuz he deserves one. But um it's just hard to get people together. So I'm thinking next year we're going to have that Halloween party. We just I'm just trying to make as many friends as I can. But a lot of the women in the area are assholes, so whatever. Yeah, I think Bill's 57. Yeah, 57 or so. I'm getting close to calling it a day. If you, uh, do you guys want to uh, call it there? Perhaps. Anubis. Anubis. Have you thought about doing an anti-woodworm treatment around the load-bearing parts or in the floor? We thought we were doing some things, but mostly we just need to work on getting the moisture out because there's a lot of junk in that, underneath that, that porch that lets water go into the woodwork, and so we need to get rid of that. If you have any more questions, ask them now. How's my dad? Well, he's doing pretty good. Yeah, he just got a motorcycle a while ago, and him and his wife were uh, just the other day. We he stopped by on his motorcycle, and because it, it's really nice weather all of a sudden. Better draw, draw up a parts list for the arcade unit. Agreed. 
You're welcome, Wes. It's always fun to stream. Well, not always, but... <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix that that ball. Think of questions fast. I wonder if I could actually play music on here. Like, you know, I'm just gonna fuck around with OBS. I'm using OBS Studio. Can you guys hear that? It's weird, it, it messed up the audio. I wonder if it recorded the, the desktop audio. Can you guys hear any of that? Hmm. Interesting, so you can actually hear stuff. I like this song. This is the nighttime theme for Colusia. John Doe, what if that old house holds very dark secrets from the past? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, speaking of dark secrets, I know what songs to play. the audio level on that? Is that too high or what? Probably. Jersey Devil.
Oh, I know what song day is stuck in your head. from Don Meg in Final Fantasy XIV. That's like a uh, sugar plum or whatever they were saying. This one's called Figments by Masayoshi Soken. called landlords. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know. I'm just I'm just lazy. This is landlords from Final Fantasy 14 uh, Heaven's Word. Oh, what do I, what do I think of the uh, Tesla truck? I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a whole lot. I like the design, and I think it's good that it's stainless steel. Obsolete Oddities Horror Story Channel. That sounds fun. Well, I think we're gonna end there, and I thank you very much for watching. And all the random shenanigans. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya. Unless you have anything else to talk about. Because I'm ending stream. In three, two, one.